the breath that he's talking about finally is the subject of the poem and uh, the mighty breath that he's talking about, the inspired breath, is exemplified and manifested in the poem, outlined in the poem. Um, the breathing is outlined by the um, uh, punctuation so that you know where to take a brief breath and at certain points he gives you a chance to take a brief strong breath for one word and then a real deep breath to knock out the next one like drive my dead thoughts over the universe like withered leaves to quicken a new birth that's two lines for one breath and that's a real solid piece of breathing mouthing then he wants to get even higher so he gives you and and comma by the incantation of this verse so that you have enough air in your lungs to go da 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 <laughs> then again da da scatter comma so you got you got a whole breath for it. scatter comma then he has one of his great lines that you want to have you want lots of air for that one as from an unextinguished hearth ashes and sparks so you did not scatter as from an unextinguished hearth, ashes and sparks, but as from an unextinguished hearth, ashes and sparks in one. And then, then another breath so you can get my words among mankind. And then another long one. Be through my lips to unawakened earth a trumpet of a prophecy. da 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 and then, a oh, wind, if winter comes, can spring be far behind. If winter comes, comma, can spring be hard behind, far behind. Well, that's, um, how many have you ever heard that before or read that before? It's just amazing, because it's, it's, it's after all, well, actually, then more than half the class had heard. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's, uh, that, uh, Ode to the West Wind and um, Adonais, Intellectual beauty, Ode to the West Wind, and Adonais are his high points, his most powerful breaths, his most powerful breathings. Um, I know these pretty well because my father taught them in high school. So he used to go stomping around the house actually reciting these aloud. And then I developed a dislike for him for a while because he didn't pay attention to the commas. He just did it like uh, in one t one voice, one monotone. But he had the inspired, he had the inspired cadence, but he didn't have the stops right, and so that it was just sort of like a blind cadence without the delicacy of being able to stop for breath. <laughs>